Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Test of a um, program I wrote back in New Denver a little while ago called This is a, this is a Choing Player, and um, <clears throat> this should make some music. It's going to play back some um, actions that I just recorded using another module. And down there, start that LMMS. I don't know if you've heard of that, but it's a really excellent way to make music on Linux. program that I wrote that records the um, keyboard and mouse actions. Records every possible combination of keys, plays them back exactly as you did them, and it does all of your mouse movements exactly as you did them. This is kind of like a way to make uh, macros. There we go. <coughs> nice. A little different sound font here. Pretty cool, there's one hand free and one hand free. Nice. This is a great way to do uh, tutorials and stuff. And what's neat about uh, this program is it only stores a small little text file. And um, the data can be edited later. That's one of the things I need to do is to create. Gorgeous. Right on. Python rocks. Seriously rocks. Nice. Here's another reason I love Python. Working on uh, doing some Linux code and uh, we're using Pygame to control some MIDI stuff here. And I found some code that uh, it's called MIDI.py that does input output on Pygame and this is at um, bitbucket.org do a search for midi.py where do we get that from a uh, pi game midi example and that was about halfway down at the page right now so what are we looking at here is a uh, <coughs> basically need to run python midi pi dash dash output and then two because that's my casio keyboard output here three would be input. I'm going to be working on that next. That's actually what I was working on, but check this out. We got nice. <laughs> Sweet. Very cool. And uh, there we go. Got some MIDI action going. Nice. Cool. And then uh, for the input, this is very easy. Change it to dash dash input and then three because that's the input for this and check it out makes my uh, fan go crazy but we could figure that out oh y'all baby nice that was an easy fix all I had to do was add some code um, using import time and then time dot sleep sub uh, 0 0.03 and now you can hear the fans not going Wah. still seems very responsive Some source code that is doing virtual experiment. What's neat about this is not using <coughs> OpenCV, which is what I normally use for camera tracking. It's just using Pygame and NumPy. pitch on the left, <coughs> volume on the up and down or something. Anyways, this is kind of neat code that I found over on um, BBS Archive. Did a search for what? <coughs> Not sure anyways. Um, do a search for Python webcam theremin, you'll find that. Anyways, I'll be releasing all this source in my hero package when it is ready. Very fun. I'm gonna go back to some MIDI now. 
be sweet. <clears throat> we'll get the midi dot pi python going. Um, oh yeah, nice, we an error. Every time there's a key press, it changes the <coughs> MIDI instrument, which is really cool. And get a little mini piano that's made uh, using Pi Game, with some graphics. <coughs> uh, what's really cool about this is every time I hit the key, it makes a, a change in the instrument. So. <laughs> Almost music, eh? <laughs> right on, this is very cool, Python and MIDI. <laughs> 